Thanksgiving Eve 2016. I want to do a quick video on a very special piece out of my collection. I've been waiting to get professional photographs of this piece because it really needed to bring out what it is. My pictures just would not do it justice. Jim Cooper was kind enough to do that at this past weekend at the New York Custom Knife Show. Thank you, Jim Cooper. I really appreciate it. This piece was commissioned for the birth of my daughter Lily about 12 years ago. It is a piece done by Rick Barrett and Lewis Mills. It's a collaboration piece. You remember I did a video on a katana from Phil Hartsfield that was commissioned for the birth of my other daughter. This piece and that piece have a couple similarities. Mainly they were built for my specs, meaning the blade length in the suka is the request that I put in. I prefer around a 26 or a little longer blade. I prefer a 13 inch suka handle. That's for my kendo past, I guess. This blade is the high art version of the katana and those specifications. The hearts feel was a more battlefield user type piece. Both very special, but both uniquely different. The hearts field is the pure art of the function. This is the pure art of all of it. I'm sure it'll cut incredibly well. You're not gonna see me cutting with it because it has an art polish and I'm not gonna mar the blade. This piece was truly done as a piece of art to, for me to keep and pass on to my kids. Um, we'll start with the Saya. The Saya is a grooved or ring Saya where Rick blew gold dust into the grooves, gave it a, a, just a crazy wild look, I think. Um, the fittings on the Saya are Mokome and Buffalo horn. Very cool. The Suka is black leather Ito over high grade Same, Mokume fittings, and a wrought iron Suba. You can't really catch the details, but in Jim Cooper's fantastic pictures, you can. Uh, the piece is just, it's striking. It's just a totally unique looking piece. It, it, it's got a look that you don't see much unless you go back and really study the Japanese blades and see some of the, the fantastic furniture and stuff that was done on a piece like this. As for the blade, the blade is incredible. The blade was forged from iron or sand. This is an actual sample from the batch. Rick had sent this to me when I got the blade over 12 years ago, which was a really cool thing. The blade, again, in art polish, is exceptional. The balance of the whole piece is exquisite. It's just a, a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Jim's pictures brought it out masterfully. Just an incredible piece. Again, I'd love to cut with it, but I'll never do so because the amount of time put into the finish and polish on that blade, I would not want to have to send it back out to get it polished again. Um, another exceptional katana that I own, that I cherish, and hopefully someday I'll pass on to my daughter who it was commissioned for. Thank you for looking and happy Thanksgiving. Rick. Barrett, Lewis Mills, and Jim Cooper, thank you all very much. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. Video wouldn't be complete without adding the 20-week-old Bull Terriers, Max and Lady. Again, appreciate you looking. Happy Thanksgiving. Say hi, Max. Say hi, Lady. Thank you.